A new study shows that TV news has a big bias against business. Joining us now is the man behind the study, Brent Bozell, president of the Media Research Center, MRC. Brent, welcome back, as always. Hello. This is tough stuff. Why, first of all, just generically, is this a political issue? Is this a cultural issue? Why are all these networks, and CNBC was not polled because we're not a, a news network, why are they always anti-business? Well, yeah, it's a cultural issue, much more than it is a business issue. Um, we, this is the third part of, of, of the study. We did one on Hollywood and how they covered the businessman in Oscar-nominated movies in, in 2006, and there were some 70 depictions of businessmen. Only one was positive. Hmm. We looked at television shows throughout 2006, the entertainment shows. We found that it was 26 times more often, more likely, that a crime or a, a murder would be committed by a businessman than by a member of the mafia. And according to your study, now this is really hard stuff, because you've got guys on these stations who, who are business reporters, namely Lou Dobbs over at CNN and uh, Neil Cavuto at Fox. You kind of single Dobbs out. You say that CNN had a 76 percent negative portrayal of businessmen and a seven to one criminal to philanthropist ratio. Lou Dobbs tonight was right in the thick of it, put businessmen on defense half the time. Why do you reckon that is? Because after all, guys who cover the business meet should know better. Well, look, there were negative stories about business in 2006. You did have, you know, the Enron type of scandals. They did exist. No one's suggesting they shouldn't be covered. Of course they should be covered. But the point is, the media instinctively, these business reporters instinctively gravitate to the bad news stories, mm -hmm. to the negative stories. In fact, it is business that built the economic engine that is the strongest engine in the world. Thank you. And right. there isn't, when you look at the... Free product, enterprise. When you look at the... Well, product, you can't have a job without a business. Can I just put that in? Businesses create jobs. Consumers Consumers don't create jobs. Consumers have to work. You know the biggest problem, I, biggest problem I have with businessmen is their philanthropy. What do I mean by that? I talk to businessmen all the time. I tell them, tell the world what you're doing with your money. And they always come back to me and they say, if I did, it's not philanthropy. Is that it? They're not, the businessmen aren't aggressive enough in telling their own story. Is that part of the problem well, here? Well, half of it is they're shy. They're, they're not public figures. They're businessmen. The other half of it is that if 60 Minutes calls you, Larry Cudlow, as a businessman and says, we'd like to do a story on you. I'd yeah, love we, to. But, no, yeah, I'd maybe, love to. Maybe you would, but the Take average businessman Go is going to get on a plane you know, to Maui and Head get the, get the hell way. out of here. All yeah. right, Brent Bazell. We're going to talk more about this. a very important thing. They should be more aggressive. They're welcome on this show anytime. Thanks to Brent Bazell. Up next, my last word. Cudlow and Company, straight ahead.